Hello, my sweet and beautiful friends. How is everyone doing today? Today I am doing my fall coffee bar, and I really hope that you enjoy this video. This is my summer coffee bar. I called it my little lemonade stand, but it has nothing to do with the lemonade stand. It just has lemons. But I'm just going to go ahead and clear everything up and start from scratch. Okay, and this is what I'm going to be working with today. I put everything on my table so I could see where everything is. But first, I am going to iron my table runner. I washed it and now I'm just getting it nice and ironed. And the second step is to clean my surface. Okay, now that I put my runner, I am going to put, of course, the star of the show, my coffee maker. I love this Keurig. My daughter gave it to me for um, Mother's Day, I believe. Or was it Christmas? I'm not sure, but I love it. And she always knows what to get me. And this is my favorite thing to put on my coffee bar, my two-tier stand. I wish I had a three-tier stand, but... I can barely put stuff on this one. So um, I'll stick to the two tier. The first thing I'm adding is this pumpkin that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I like how it looks there. Now I'm adding this little one that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I love it because it matches the runner. I also got this little one at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to put it right in front of it. So I'm putting a lot of signs on this one. I hardly ever work with signs like this, but I liked it. And I'm putting some flowers, well, some feathers, feathers, <laughs> some leaves that I got at the Dollar Tree, and then my little pumpkin from Hobby Lobby. Okay, now I'm adding my hot cocoa mix, of course. And then I'm adding my instant coffee mix. <laughs> and I always have those there just in case. I got this cute pumpkin at Home Goods, and I'm placing it here on this white little stand. I think it looks cute there. What do you think? And then this year in Ross, I found these beauties. They were like $2.99 each and I thought they were a steal. I don't think I'm using my creamer or my sugar at this time. So I'm just gonna put some feathers. I was gonna say feathers again. Some fall leaves. <laughs> and I'm putting this beautiful white pumpkin that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then um, I'm just adding, I had a leaf. <laughs> I don't know from where, but um, I decided to put it there. And I think it worked out. I always like to put my beaded garland somewhere in my tear tray and um i guess it works i just i just like it and i want to have it there <laughs> but let me know what you think and if you have a better way of putting it on please let me know i got these beautiful mugs at home goods no they are from Hobby Lobby. I am so used to getting my uh, mugs at Home Goods, but this ones were from Hobby Lobby and I loved them. They were really pretty and I like how they have the orange in the inside. 
I got this cute little sign at, at um, Hobby Lobby as well. And I put some greenery with some pumpkins. But um, it just gave me a hard time. <laughs> it gave me, this is what gave me the hardest time in the whole thing. It fell, I don't know how many times. <laughs> but I got it to work. I'm sure you have seen this in my other videos and my daughter also gave this to me and I love it I love this little cake stand it is the cutest I just got a Dollar Tree pumpkin and I put it in there and I thought it just looks so so cute I wanted to try the syrups this year for fall and I got this one praline spice I believe and the other one is just plain vanilla because my husband just likes vanilla. So hopefully he'll want to try some in his black coffee with nothing in it ever. We'll see. I also bought um, these at Amazon, the pumps. And they were a little too big, so I had to cut them. That way they would fit because they weren't fitting. But then... Um, I tried cutting one before measuring it and um, it didn't fit so I had to do it like twice. But at the end it all worked out and they look really nice. And then I got my beautiful pumpkin at Ross. It's a candle and it's the cutest thing. I loved it. In case you're wondering what I have in these baskets, I just have snacks for the kids. I have chips, I have popcorn, and the other one has candy. I've had this pumpkin for a while. I have two actually, a big one and a little one. And this is the big one. And I decided to put, put some uh, fall greenery. I said it right, I didn't say feathers. And my finishing touches were my beautiful DIY chalkboard with my amazing art. <laughs> and my beautiful mug that I got at Hobby Lobby as well. And we are all done.
And this is my favorite creamer. I know I already added some syrup, but I'm still going to add creamer. <laughs> and it tasted really, really good. Everybody always tells me, would you like some coffee with your creamer? And I always say, yes, please. And I wanted to try out my new beautiful candle and it smelled delicious. I love that smell. Okay, and I decided to dress my table as well. I got the matching uh, buffalo chick uh, tablecloth and then I got this, um, I've had this for a while, this tray. My mom gave it to me a long time ago and I need to retouch it. <laughs> but I added some beautiful, um, a beautiful fall arrangement that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then I got also at Hobby Lobby this sign and then I got at Ross this beautiful salt and pepper shakers. And I thought they were so beautiful. What do you think? This is all I'm putting this year. I'm keeping it simple. Oh, I almost forgot. I got that picture at a Goodwill. Well, I want to thank you all my beautiful friends for um, being with me in this little journey of my little fall coffee bar. I, I just love decorating my coffee bar and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. And always remember to try something new every day. Bye-bye.